and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some augmented Demacia. Um, all right, we're going to try to rebound after our last league, bringing back uh, one of my favorite versions of Demacia. You know, like there's a lot of different Demacia decks running around in a lot of different ways to play these cards. I like this augmented version. Basically, we're splashing P and Z for two cards. One, Mystic Shot, to give us a, a good quality removal spell uh, at two mana. Very versatile, can go upstairs and everything. But then two, gives us some card advantage with Augmented Experimenter at the top end. So that if we run out of cards, which D Demacia decks can do, when we run out of cards, we get to play the Experimenter, uh, discard our hand, draw three. Um, so, you know, just get like that little extra card, like that little bit of uh, extra card advantage to help finish the games out. Um, I am trying, uh, before we had three redeemers in here, I'm going to try cutting the redeemers back just a little bit, going down to one and play a blade keeper and the third Garen uh, from what we had before. So we'll see if, if those are worth it or if I should just uh, go back to playing the three redeemers. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so that, those are like the little changes that I made. But here we go. Let's see. Let's get our... Uh, we want our Hall of Valor, and we can use our Silverwing. Get a Demacia board. All right, here we go. Um, tomorrow we're doing the, the Resident Evil 3 stream. It was supposed to be today. Those of y'all watched on YouTube, sorry about that. We're doing it tomorrow. Um, I had some technical difficulties getting it set up. It took me a while. Um, but it it is set up and ready to go and we're going to just start with that instead of doing and actually you know We talked about it in chat and so instead of doing the instead of playing Legends of Terra first and then playing it after uh, To make sure we have enough time to get through the whole game and everything uh, We're gonna play it first and then you know, maybe we'll play some resident uh, Maybe we'll play some Legends of Terra after so we're gonna start it right away at 11 Eastern uh, Resident Evil 3 viewer discretion is advised Draven Jinx. Definitely get rid of that. I think we'll keep these other two. I could see getting rid of one of the trackers, but we'll keep them both. It's possible we get another two mana card where we want to you know, have a one drop, then a two drop, and then be able to double spell with one and two on turn three. No one's the wiser. Well, it looks like a fight's a cooking. A delicious challenge. Hope this works. Hmm. Eat up, friend. Ready. So I could, I could barrier it, but I'll just use the single combat. Take that out. I don't know. I mean, so all I did was just trade two for two. Maybe I need that single combat for a champion. Maybe that was a bad decision. So we'll have this. This is going to be a 3-2. Actually, maybe we just have the, that be a 4-4. Four, four. No. Okay. So we do this as a 3-2, kill that thing. And then that. Yeah, that's the play. That's the play. I thought you 
were working the gold room. I thought you were it in Wilton. Alright, we found the play. We're looking good right now in this game. Swiftwing Lancer is such a good card. Man, this card is so good. Five mana, five four challenger. See, so it's just a big body that you get to kill their stuff with because you force them to whatever to block it. And then whenever it dies, it creates another elite for you in hand. This card would definitely be good enough even if it didn't have that last breath. But man, with that last breath. So good. I think my opponent's given up on the game. And they're just going to waste the time. Okay. First one of the day. Let's get out of the 1500s. <laughs> Back to... No, we're not even out of the 1500s. <laughs> uh, we didn't, you know, win any games. Like, you know, we went 1-4 and four with our last deck yesterday, then 0-5 with our first one today, and it just dropped us a ton. 1700s. 1500s is like the lowest I've ever seen. I guess they go to 1700s now. But of course, the, the more time, the more people get into Masters, and so therefore the lower ratings they can go. Um, maybe I do want to keep Experimenter in this matchup. I know it's slow. But like maybe like this probably is the like the top end six drop that I want. Really? So I got rid of I got rid of the tracker because it's one toughness. I hope they have the two mana three two. Darn they don't. Oh man, what a terrible draw. Alright, getting super punished for keeping the experimenter, because having two experimenters is is quite bad. Like there we have two in the deck, but you never want to have two in your hand because uh, whenever you play one you discard the other. One banner, one destiny. I guess they don't have anything to play yet. I'm sure they like want to play Heimerdinger or Karma this turn. Um, Answers. I, have I do not have a way to kill Heimerdinger or Karma with just having Mystic Shot. Basically they can have the they can have the one mana thing that gains life. Darn, they did have the one mana thing that gains life. I didn't know if I'd have like an ability to to wait until like to see if they would tap out. I don't know if they would have or not. 
We'll see. We may not be able to get the rest of this damage in. I was like the only card in the whole format that would have kept him alive. Fortunately, they had it. doing that to be able to make that other challenger. We, of course, want the Garen to stay alive. So the Garen will level up and we'll be able to attack on their turn. It's pretty unlikely the Garen stays alive here because they could just use any removal spell to destroy the barrier, but we got to try. That's fine. That's Garen staying alive, so that's good. We must not relent. A sturdy construction. Yeah. Smell that? A fight's a cooking. All right, a fight's a cooking. I don't like these health potions. They'd be at zero right now if it wasn't for your health potion. Infinite creatures. Thanks to Heimerdinger. I'm going with like the best possible play of this resolving killing Heimerdinger and it kills my 5-2. Because then I'd have the experimenter kill the T-Hex. So I need that T-Hex to die so that they can't just, you know, I, I don't want to attack with Garen. I don't want to have Garen trade with T-Hex. 
Um, but now that uh, now we have this. Alright, obviously we're just going to end the round so they don't get, like, two more turrets. No reason to trade right there. As far as attacking goes, we don't need to really support this War Chefs. It's going to just trade with something anyway, so we can support this and support this. Um, maybe it's better to support the 4-3 than the 3-3. Three, three. Right, Garen, what are you doing? You're not attacking. Can't fight on an empty stomach. You cannot escape. Stop on me. What's that you got there? Cause yeah, I just I just can't trade my my Garen away. Too valuable. Attack again. That can be good. Could be good with, you know, with giving us a Fiora kill, potentially. barrier do with his judgment have Garen strike and then potentially kill the other you know everything Ugh, I wish they would have played something so I had better knack of what to do Getting Heimerdinger out of here. Flavor and spice.
Basically, I hope they don't have Deny or Will of Ionia. Well, that was our worst possible card to draw right now. A one mana card. But. Yeah, it looks like this is over. Potion. Yeah, we got them down to two. I had the Mystic Shot. I mean, I... They just had the three mana, so they couldn't deny, so that's why I, I cast it, because so basically, like, two cards that would stop them from, from... Stop me from winning were Deny and Health Potion, and they were at the mana where they couldn't have Deny, so they could only have Health Potion. Um, I could have maybe just not played that and see if they would have ever cast out before playing Health Potion, but not likely. Like, if, if I'm, like, if I'm them at, at two, um, and my opponent's playing P and Z, I'm not gonna just tap out without playing the Health Potion, so. I think that, I think that we did the right thing, it just didn't end up being very good. Um, Repost is definitely out of here. Single combat. I only want single combat if they have a lease. I'll, I'll just get rid of it. This is good. Really? Where are you? No, 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 no. Yep, Storm, I got gotcha. you. These hapless aristocrats. Do they have frenzied skitter? Make me feel bad for playing the protege, or do they not have frenzied skitter? And then it was good that we did. Feels like they do not, because if they had skitter, you just slam it. Okay. Alright, the aristocrats are gone. Prankster. Okay, this is a different deck than I thought it was. So this is, you know, like Prankster Burn. I was thinking this was Karina Control. Well, they were thinking that was my only way to get rid of this prankster, but I got some other ways. 
Um, withdrawing the single combat, maybe I should just play the Garen. Yeah, maybe I should just play Garen here and have Garen fight Prankster. Uh, this is the safer thing to do, I suppose. Come closer. I don't fight. I demand such a heart. Oh, 32 and 1. That'd be pretty good if we were 32 and 1. There we go. That's. That Swift Wing Lancer. Still really good. So far, we've played Swift Wing Lancer two of the games. We won those two. We didn't play it the other game. We lost that one. Coincidence? Probably not. Dark and Teemo. You're not playing a Teemo deck. Back to back. Gone. Lancer is good, but I I want to fill in the cur like I, you know I really want like a two drop. I'm glad I didn't keep the Lancer. Like think if we would have kept Lancer and then drawn Garen Garen. Bannerman, you know, I would have felt pretty bad about keeping the Lancer. By keeping all this top end stuff. So it looks like we'll book the two mana for later. If we draw single combat or Mystic Shot, then we'll be able to cast both of those with our spell mana. All right, so it looks like they have uh, Brittle Steel, most likely. That would turn... I think it's still worth it. Like, I thought about not doing it because of my Bannermans, but I think it's still worth it. So we're trading... Um, you know, we're trading our, our card for Brittle Steel, but... You know, forcing them to have it as well. My hand's very clunky against Ash. I'm, I'm glad they don't have Ash. So my hand is very clunky against Ash. Alright, let's go, Garen. Many drives under one banner. Bleh. Save the homestead. I like five mana five fives. They're fun. Hearthguard, Garen. They're fun cards. I need just a moment. I guess they're just going to, like, Judgment the Garen, but then they're just going to Frostbite Garen if I do that. Yeah, they just Frostbite Garen. With 
justice and honor. That would have been really sweet, though. Raise the banner, lift our spirits. We stand strong. Expecting harsh winds. This is our homeland. That's my expectation. And that's what would happen last turn if I would have tried to play Judgment. No. That's bad. Unstoppable are you really if you just if you don't stop bragging about it? I'm actually here. Remember why we fight. Defend our banner. Is this supposed to be a challenge? Strike without worry. Come on, Demacia. You got a bunch of glory and stuff. Frostbite all enemies. Night. Well, no attacks. Avarosa, guide me! An 8-6? Big. So obviously they have they have the crystal arrow now, so that's gonna make four things not be able to block. Um, unfortunately, you know this is four toughness, five toughness, six toughness. We don't get to kill anything with experimenter. This is going to make another thing not be able to block. So I need to... I need to get kind of lucky here. What's the worst that could happen? I need to draw, like, Fiora to give me a repost. Um back to back or I have an actual repost I need to draw one of those cards okay or we draw all good stuff can't cast all that stuff though show them the might of Noxus. can only cast One. So we got it. Yeah, we got to do back to back, and then we're gonna do it on. Uh, see, what are you right now? You killed zero things. Um. Don't back down. 
Yeah, back to back was clutch. Alright, attack with you, 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 and you. You do this, you do this. That's them going down to one. So, mystic shots. Yeah, this is a heck of a game. You want to cast this card? Come on, go ahead, cast that card. Okay, so it's just an elixir of iron. All right, three and one. Augmented Experimenter was amazing that game. Definitely won us that game. It was incredible. Um, you know, that that draw three, that was like the perfect three cards too. So, so getting that extra card advantage, getting that extra card draw, uh, that was the difference. This is our third no champion deck to play against today. I'll just keep, you know, keep early stuff. This kind of hand is good against everything. Like being a proactive deck, it makes it not really matter that they are a no champion deck. When you're a reactive deck, um, uh, when you're a reactive deck, you, you know it makes it more difficult when you don't know exactly what your opponent's doing. So the question is, why do you value Redeemer at one? Do you mean like, why? Okay, so I guess the previous times I've played the deck, I've played three. And I feel like with the Augmented Experimenter, maybe I could cut back on that a little bit. So this time I'm trying, I've took two two of them out and I'm playing one, the, the third Garen. I've only played two Garens before in this deck. We're playing the third Garen. And then we're also playing um, the one copy of Laurent Bladekeeper, the other four drop. Um, the third Garen's probably better than the third Redeemer. Just at all. So, like, I think I would want to keep the third Garen in here. But I'm not sure if, like, the, the four mana Laurent Bladekeeper is better than Redeemer or not. So maybe I should be maybe I should go back and play the second Redeemer and no Blade Keeper. I was kind of testing out Blade Keeper. We haven't really done anything with it today, and I think I think Redeemer would have been better. Like the one time we did have it. I've got to get out of here. This is a Mogwai deck that we're playing against. I'm expecting They Who Endure and Atrocity from just what we've seen so far with those Last Breath creatures and for like that attack. That is what I am expecting. They Who Endure and Atrocity. Okay. Wasn't exactly expecting Avalanche, but it makes sense. But it wasn't on my expectations. So do we want to safeguard our citizens now or play like a couple more, th you know, try to go more wide before we do that so we get a better bonus? That's a good question. Mm. Raise the banner, lift our spirits. 
Well, we'll just play a four mana three three. We'll just do that. How about that? We'll just go four mana three three. So I didn't didn't block with the bannerman because I figured our other bannerman can can have it grow, and then you know, could block with Fiora. I decided not to really block with Fiora because we can uh, we could bright steel protector it. My shield is yours. Dying is going to really keep growing. It's going to be a 4 4 now. They who endure. So basically, I have I have the choice to make. Okay, if I block. Okay, I can't. I can't. Let's see. If I block, I can stay alive from atrocity. If I don't, I can't. New recruit reporting in. That was a really good elite to hit. That was actually the best elite to hit that we possibly could. By my honor, you must die. And then bannerman and attack out and. Hope it's good enough. Oh, that thing's an 8-3? Oh my gosh, I did I just math so wrong. I really should not have blocked it. They're out there. I'll spot them. That thing's an 8-3, not I just shouldn't have blocked it. I should have mystic shotted one of the sentries first. Seeing if they would have had something. They likely would have had something. It 
It wouldn't have made any difference if I would have blocked or not. I mean, I guess the difference is they would have taken 8 here and gone down to 3 instead of uh, taking more. But the Bay who endure would have been there. I, I think it, it actually, it was good that I blocked. It was good that I blocked. Unfortunately, I already know that I'm not drawing another Mystic Shot, even though that'd be our best draw, but I know we're not going to... ...because our Bannerman hit Allegiance. So we have a Demacia spell. Uh, we hope it is a spell, not a unit. So we want, like, single combat back-to-back. -back. Uh, I guess Repose is our... It's not as good as those, but... That looks like that probably just killed us. Because I think they have Atrocity. Okay, no Atrocity. That's the good news. The bad news is I can't stop a 12-12 Overwhelm because I'm at 6. Didn't quite finish that out. All right, so we went three and two. Um, I think I would go back and just play two Redeemer and not play that uh, Blade Keeper. Moving forward. No, Barrier does not prevent Overwhelm. No. Um. The back-to-back -to -back was incredible. I always kind of liked back-to-back -back more than repost. May go to like two back-to-back, -back, zero repost. Uh, yeah, actually, it, pro it probably could. That's a good. That's a good call. I we should try that card. Next time we play this. We talked about that. Yeah, that's that's a good card. Yeah, talked about that the other day. That you know we probably just don't play enough Dawn Speakers in general. I wonder how Dawn Speakers would do with this kind of deck. That could be a, a good card to play in the three drop slot um, instead of the Redeemer. That could pump up our creatures and everything. And then with with Dawn Speakers, I would want to get rid of the Repost. And honestly, I, I just don't think I don't think Barrier is in a great spot right now. I, I think we want to keep the Barriers. The prismatic ones, but I don't think we need repose. I, I don't know, if, so I don't think we need four of them, and just get get the other single combat in here. Single combat is better with Dawn Speakers. Um, yeah, I could definitely see doing that. We need purify. For those one, for those, they who wanders. Hmm. That that could be good. There's a lot of options to go with. There's a lot of like there's a lot of good cards here in Demacia. So many different options to go with. You know, that we could be playing. It's hard finding like the exact ones.
Mystic Shot, not doing three damage, hurt a bunch of times. If it dealt three damage, you know, we would have been able to get rid of that Heimerdinger that killed us, and also the that first She Who Wanders, if we could have gotten rid of that. Um, but. but yeah, things to think about. Yeah, maybe Dawn Speakers in this deck. Yeah, we'll, we'll maybe try that. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think of Dawn Speakers in this kind of deck. If you think it would be a good card to try out. But anyway, there we go. That's Augmented Demacia. So, uh, yeah, also hit that like button. But besides that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.